Hi guys, uh, another unboxing video for Comic Geeked here. Um, today's finally the day, December 10th, 2020. Um, one of the few good things maybe this year, I think. <laughs> no, we've actually had a really good year. It's been a shit year on some aspects, but we've had a good year. Um, it's finally here, Cyberpunk 2077. After the fourth or fifth delay, we finally have it in hand. Um, been excited for this for several years now. I mean, this was debuted near the same time the Xbox One and the PS4 were on deal. Um, um, early May 2012, if I remember correctly. So it's been about eight years, eight and a half years now. Um, and I've pretty much had it pre-ordered since then. So that thing's just chilled on my pre-order list for a hot minute. Um, so I, like I said, I got the collector's edition. I was one of the few that managed to get one, thankfully. Um, kind of wish I would have been able to get the, the uh, Cyberpunk X, but that was even harder to come by than this bastard. Um, and so I'm going to do the unboxing. I did cut some tape already just to kind of eliminate the middleman. Uh, so we have our wonderful dust drown. Let me get out of there. And then of course, ooh, it's a two part dust drown. It's craft time, guys. All right, now we got the big one. Okay, so it looks like it's, yeah, comes in a couple of different sets. So, oh, how do I get this thing out of here? Oh, okay, so I guess we're gonna take this out first. Okay, where'd that knife go? Knife. I'm pretty sure this is the statue, um, which if it is, I'm not gonna put it together on camera because I was fortunate enough to actually receive a prototype of this statue last year from CD Projekt Dread when the game was originally supposed to come out the third time. Go figure. So is this it? It is indeed. So like I said, this is the statue. I'm not gonna put it together. In fact, I've already got one. I'll actually show you what it looks like. Here real quick, so I can put this bad boy back in there. I gotta figure out what I'm gonna do with the second statue. So yeah, this is what the statue looks like. It is the male V. Uh, hitting some poor schmuck on a motorcycle and like getting shooting off over there. Um, I really do like the statue. It's probably one of my favorite collector's editions I've got. It's solid as all get out. There's even like dirt and whatnot uh, on the tires there. They really did well with the detail and stuff like that. So, and it's uh, of course samurai on there and stuff like that. right there for now. This has got to be the other half of these goodies. It's a nice case. Oh, it even comes with a handle. Maybe I should have pulled that earlier. So Cyberpunk 2077 in the yellow, black, and blue like we're used to seeing over this last few months. Oh, come on. This way. Well, okay then. Oh, my stuff fell apart. Let me move that statue a little bit. All right. So of course we got the game. It, we've all seen the box art. I don't know, it's nothing special on that. Ooh, you know what I will do though? Because I have not seen that chunk of it yet. Come on, try not to cut the sleeve. Why you cut the sleeve? Yeah, whatever. Come on. I know it's like Christmas for you guys too. Heck, most of you guys are actually out of home playing this right now, anyways. Because I sold you a bunch of them. Alright, so of course we've got the game. We've got a 30-day trial of HBO Max. I'm not going to show you that code, because I may use it. <laughs> we've got some post... Yeah, nice. Some postcards. Apparently there's uh, Cyberpunk Cowboys. Go figure. Um, one for Night City, just kind of like a an odds and end one. Ooh, the Ven uh, Pacifica is what that one's called. This one, I should say, not that one. Let me show it to you. Yep, that's Pacifica. That's pretty cool. And these are just coming in the standard. Ooh, and a giant map, which I will not unfold right now. Gotta go up on the wall somewhere around here. And then a world compendium for Cyberpunk. Goes over, looks like, yeah, it goes over a bunch of the different uh, 
burrows and stuff like that that we'll be going through. Oh, goes over the life paths. So we've got Corpo, Street Kid, and Nomad as life paths. Uh, I think my solo playthrough, I am going to play as an, uh, a Street Kid. Kind of one that probably speaks to me a little bit more. All right, that's all that stuff in there. All right. Get those out over here. The really, really cool thing is, I don't know if it, how well it's going to kind of process through the thing, but this plastic piece right here is actually signed by the CD Project Red team, which is actually kind of cool. I like when they do that, take pride in their work. Uh, so I've got some little ones before I get into kind of some of the big stuff here. Ooh. Uh, I'm a sucker for pins, stuff like that, nerdy little collectibles. I don't know why. Shiny bubbles, probably. Um, I've got a pin for Night City Heat, um, which is kind of referencing the nuke that went off uh, years prior when uh, Johnny Silverhand tried to rescue his girlfriend from Arasaka. And then I've got a Militech pin, which is one of the corporations in the game. Let's show those actually a little bit better, because that's probably super far out there. All right, next. That's a heavy one. Ew, it's a keychain. Uh, looks like it's V's um, car that we've seen in a lot of the trailers and the gameplay stuff, except it's just silver. And then it's got, uh, I don't know, looks like a cassette maybe. I guess we'll find out when I play. Oh, get in there. This wants to fight me. Oh, hey, look, there's a picture of what I have to this. Go figure. <laughs> uh, oh, patches. All right. I do love patches. I've worked it where I've worked for so long. I've got a bag of them somewhere. I should probably just make up a giant, like, coat of patches and stuff. So we've got one for Samurai, which is, of course... Johnny Silverhand's band. Um, we got one for Night City. The cool thing with this one, I do dig the fact that the, um, probably Sunset, if I had to guess, kind of looks like a skull. Dig it. And then one for something I don't know yet. I guess I'll find out what I'm playing. Go figure. Stickers! I can definitely dig some stickers. There's a bunch of different stickers in here. I'm not going to open them right now, uh, but I'll probably throw them on my water bottle and show you guys my water bottle because it's just a bunch of nerdy stickers on there. Drink some water. Stay, stay hydrated, people. Come on now. All right. Ooh. Oh, that's a hefty one. That's actually where a lot of the weight was. Um, it is the official art book of Cyberpunk 2077. I'll do a quick flip through, but I don't want to do a lot just because I don't want to spoil anything. Um, but this art is gorgeous. I have definitely heard play it on a next gen or at least one of the, the newer um, last gen consoles. So the X or the PS4 Pro. Uh, the Voodoo Boys. So kind of going over some of the gangs and stuff like that. But like I said, I'm not going to show all these just for the sheer fact that I don't want to spoil anything. Even for myself. All right. Um, I have an evidence folder. Oh, it's kind of a a beginner's guide to um, tonight's city. It looks like I'll probably open it later on. Again, I don't want to spoil anything. I kind of want to go into this as blind as possible. Um, even for having been paying attention to this for eight years now. Um, so we'll go over there. Kind of what uh, I was super excited for when they started talking about this, though. I am a huge sucker for steel boxes. So this is the one that's exclusive to, to the collector's edition. Um, it's got a really trippy spider slash skull thing up front there. It's kind of cool. And then some other stuff on the back. Um, I did pick up a secondary one that Best Buy has an exclusive of for our PS4 copy here on the channel. So that'd be nice. Um, yeah, really excited to get to dig in to play this game. I definitely know it is going to be one I'm going to probably run through a few different times, especially if the rumors are true and they do a new game plus mode on it, because why not just make yourself an all super powerful V? Um, we are going to pick it up. We've got it on two out of the three platforms currently right now. We've got it on Xbox and PS4, or PS5, whatever we're going to play it on. Um, I probably will pick it up on PS PC at one point in time. 
Let me know if, what you guys want me to stream it on when we get it going um, and what starting path you guys want me to take. If Nomad, Corpo, or Street Kid, and we'll go from there. You can just leave that in the comments. Um, I do want to preface this that this is a very mature game. Uh, so if your kids are going to be playing it, make sure you go into it knowing what it is about and um, what's kind of in the game because there's definitely some, some subject in there that, you know, can be kind of mature. So... Thanks, guys. I hope you uh, enjoyed the walkthrough and the unboxing tonight, and we'll talk to you later. See you at Night City.